I am Mikhail Houdin, uh, and welcome to Wine. Um, for those of you who might not know me, uh, I'm a wine writer based here in Spain, in the Priorat region. Uh, I'm actually originally from, from California, where I started working in, in Napa Valley over there. And here I write for a number of places, but uh, I really focus on my own website, which is called Houdin.com, which is a super, super clever name. I know, but I think it works. And um, so here we are. Here we are with my first video. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty crazy time. It's super freaking weird. Um, and we're kind of all trying some new things just to see what's out there and keep ourselves from going nuts. Um, some of you have baked sourdough. Um, I am one. If you've seen my Instagram, you know very well. Some of us have made jam out of calamondines. That's also great. Here I am doing a video, and I'm doing a video today about a wine from South Africa. Why would I do a wine about, why would I do a video about a wine from South Africa when I'm here in Spain, and there's great wine in Spain? Well, things are kind of weird in South Africa right now, uh, and by weird I mean pretty screwed up. Uh, the government banned the export of wine, which is weird, and then they allowed it again, and then they banned it again, and now they've allowed it again. I think in the, at this moment it's still allowed. More importantly, uh, they've banned the sale of alcohol in the country, which is, which is nuts. I mean, there's the, the possibility that it might last until 2021. Think about that. Think about not getting a, being able to drink for the rest of this year while well, being stuck inside uh, with or without kids, maybe with dogs, I don't know, but just no, no booze for the rest of the year. That's how screwed it up it is right there now. Uh, and so that's why a number of us sort of outside are doing a bit to sort of promote uh, South African wine and kind of get the word out. Uh, you know, this is Memorial Day weekend in, in the U.S. And, uh, you know, being from California, this always meant going out and firing up the barbecue for the first time, kind of really the start of summer. Uh, you know, up in the U.K., I think they're doing the Great, uh, Great Britain Bry Off. Uh, if you don't know what a bry is, this is a South African barbecue, usually a lot of meat, uh, very tasty times. And uh, they're all doing, everyone's doing it under the hashtag of uh, Spectacular South Africa. So that's great. If you haven't been to South Africa, oh my God, you must go. Because it's just, you, you look to your right, you look to your left, you look just straight on, you look everywhere, and you don't know what to do because it's all Instagrammable. I mean, you just go nuts, just shooting all over the place. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, everything is a beautiful photo there. Uh, and the, the food is beautiful. And more importantly, the, the wine is beautiful. And this, this is perfect. This is from uh, the Stellenbosch region. This is called uh, Vreden Lust. Uh, and this is their flagship wine, the Butte uh, Erasmus. Don't know if I'm saying that quite right, but um, lovely Bordeaux blend, mostly Cabernet and Merlot with a little bit of Petit Bordeaux and Malbec to it. And um, it's, I think, like 235 Rand or 12 euros 50 or maybe $15 US. And it, it just goes great with everything that everyone is doing everywhere right now. It's, uh, it's a great uh, wine for, for meat. It's a great wine for grilling. It's a great wine for grilled vegetables. I mean, I think you could have it with a salad if you wanted to. Pretty much with anything. Yeah, just a nice, really red fruits and just a very nice, crisp wine. Just very agreeable and, and, and just infinitely poundable, which is a term I think any wine should, should ascribe to. Is just, you just want that wine. Um, but you can pretty much find it anywhere. It's super accessible uh, to, to locate this in whatever your market is. So, you know, go out and uh, go out and have a, have a find this. Or, you know, go out and buy something else. Schwartland, Elgin, these are also regions making some really great wines these days. But go out and enjoy some South African wine. Um, this was corvined a bit earlier for, for tasting for the video. Uh, this is being saved for tonight's meal, which uh, I think I need to... Uh, need to get started on so that we can have at this. Anyways, um, hope to see you around, leave some feedback, and um, you know, until next time, bye.